I have for you Silva, this chick's chalkin. We are going to do keep life simple. If you choose, you can do keep it simple, but I am gonna do keep life simple. And I am gonna try, I've been seeing this more and more, and I think it's so cute, uh, where you actually create a shape look um, by just doing lines across. Now, believe it or not, I'm actually a little nervous to do the lines because if you guys watch, you know that I am not so good with staying in lines when I'm chalking and I tend to be messy. Straight lines are not a strong suit of mine, even with a ruler. So we'll see how I'm looking forward to seeing the outcome. I decided to try and do the lines instead of doing, I could use a chalk pen because we have chalk pens, but I think that might be a little thick. So I to start by using just a black ballpoint pen and then if I feel like I need to go a little bit thicker I will grab a black um, chalk uh, chalk marker so let me see here That's my ruler. It's slightly too large, but I think I can make it work. Um, so this is a nine by 12. So obviously the 12 inch ruler is just, you know. Ooh, I got it to go in, yay. Okay, so the other thing to do is grab, I keep a um, measuring tape right here. So I'm gonna use that, oh, let me pencil so I can make a few marks on it. Okay, so I know this is nine inches, and I would like to have, I want to do the greenery as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and center this. Keep, I think I'm going to do keep life on one line, simple on another, have greenery maybe above and below. Or possibly, let's take a look here. It nicely on three lines so maybe that's what I'll do and okay so each one should be about let's see if I have three inches and three inches I think that will look nice so let me get my tape measure I use this pretty frequently actually I'm glad I thought of keeping a tape measure in here. So we had, um, I gave you guys the opportunity to vote to see what you wanted to see me do tonight. Um, and nobody voted and that's fine, but um, I just want to let you know that tomorrow I'll go ahead and do the gather um, lumbar pillow. be cute is for Christmas time doing um, gather on a pillow and in um, holiday colors okay, I'm just trying to make sure that that's even so I'm gonna mark it with my pencil first and then another three inches ruler back in oh remember if you guys um on watching a couple i think it was two nights ago where i did um in this house maybe it was three nights ago uh that they have decided they're going to retire once it sells out so for those of you who really liked it this is the time to get it and i am if you're interested and you would like it right away i'm putting in an order tonight um 
that's got about three inches. Let me see here. I'm putting in an order tonight, so just let me know if you want me to order one for you. If you're in Sonoma County, I will figure out a way I can deliver it to you. Sorry, it's kind of stuck in there. I might actually have to cut my nails pretty soon. As much as I like having them longer, it's making things challenging for me. Okay. this across. I'm going to measure again just to make sure and if they are right then I'll go over it with a pen. If you are not a VIP just go to this Chicks Chalk and VIP group and uh, click to join. I think all I ask is if you're a designer, because we are not allowed to have other designers in our VIP groups. So, there we go. Yay! Um, so then I will let you in, and basically it's just a place where you can go to get inspired by pictures of um, different chalk designs, different things you can do. Um, I can do, like I did a, um, really inexpensive bundles. Um, we ended up being $20 think that was my cost. And they make great gifts for people, whether you want to chalk it and give it to somebody or you give the whole bundle to somebody who likes to do see crafty kinds of, um, I got, to, I can't, and I can't do those things on my regular, on the page where you guys are watching right now. We're not allowed to, according to Facebook. So, easy peasy to get on that. And by the way, I may or may not be doing like a little sort of Christmas in July thing for the month. I know it's tough to think about that, uh, but it's tough to think that we're thinking about Christmas in July, but it's also fun. And not just Christmas. There's, um, there are all kinds of Halloween and Thanksgiving things that are coming out in our catalog next month. So some of that stuff might be included too. Okay, so I'm thinking, I'm almost thinking Sharpie, but I don't know. I think that's too thick. I'm thinking it's better to stick with the ball pen. So maybe... Okay, so I got that one. Okay. Ooh, that kind of does look like I think it's because of the wood grain all around it, it really kind of does look like a shiplap type of a, it does kind of make it look like shiplap. Wow. I've been seeing them online and I thought they're so cute and I thought, oh, I've got the stuff, I could do that. I have a box frame that's just sitting there waiting to have something done with it. And for some reason, this particular transfer just seemed like it was it's interesting because it really does look like a crack between the, like it's a crack between wood grain. Interesting. Alrighty. Let's see if I can get this ruler in here. There we go. I have this cute, um, like a jar vase with um, it's meant to be screwed onto something like you know something wood um, that you can put you know a little bit of greenery or something I've had it for probably 
three or four years now. Um, and I just have never put it back on anything. I don't remember what it even is. It seems like a, whatever it was broke or something. I don't remember. Anyway, um, so I was thinking, gosh, wouldn't that be cute? Here it is. Um, it would be cute if I could somehow put on the side here. Hopefully you guys are seeing this. Um, on the side and put some greenery in it. I was thinking that would be adorable. Down with my ruler and let me I know I'm gonna use all of these but I think I'm gonna have to fuzz them one at a time so just gonna cut this out and if you're not familiar with this is if this is your first time watching you're not familiar with chalk um, some transfers come you know depending on what the sentiment is it may be that you use the entire um, the entire transfer in one piece, or it may be like this, where it comes in separate words and things. So um, if it's separated like this, they put the lines on it where you can cut it. But you can always just use one part of a transfer. If you guys who um, who watch me on a regular basis know. Um, I'll use different parts of different transfers for any number of projects I'm doing. Um, Sunday night during our chalking this coming Sunday, I'm sure I'll be using several different transfers for any given project. Okay, so there's that. Should do, and I never do this anymore, but I'm gonna do it anyway, real quick. Um, makes it easier when you are using a lot of transfers, makes it easier to figure out which part of the transfer goes to which back. this up. Um, your chalk should be a yogurt consistency. Make sure we're getting plenty of light on that. Remove this. You guys can see this okay. I tend to like my um, chalk paste on the thinner side, so if it's a little too thick for me, I will add a little bit of distilled water and it really doesn't take much. That's a good consistency for me right there. And set the greeny aside. Club Couture members, I found out a little secret. There might be something special coming for July. So, just in happening, I just wanted to get you, just want to let you guys know, if I heard correctly and I understood correctly, there um, is going to be a Club Couture member special going on. A lot of those things that you guys get, we don't even get as designers. Plus that great $4.95, $4.95, $4.99 flat rate shipping. Ugh. Awesome. Let me get all of this lined up. And the key. 
keep life with some greenery down here. the greenery at the top and keep life simple we could even do it this way mm, I don't think I'd want the greenery going up and down it might look cute but I'm just not sure okay, so let's stick with that Okay, I think I'm going to do it on the top. That's too far apart. Okay. bit more. Just have to make sure I don't have, I don't want to have this much room on one end and that much room on the other. I could measure it and mark it, but I think eyeballing it will be okay. Yep, I think that's about right. So once I get this down, I just want to make sure there are no bubbles in here or wrinkles of any kind, because uh, that can cause the paste to bleed. So I really want to make sure that the area that I'm chalking, that there aren't any bubbles or anything there that I don't want. Okay, so nose off to this side and Dab some on here, and I'm using my small squeegee. So there are mini squeegees and small squeegees. There are angled squeegees, which I like as well. And then we have the big mama squeegee, and it's like the ones you would use for your to wipe off your shower door or something. And that's great when you have a large area that you're going to do, you know, one color or something. Ooh, I think I chose the right color. I think this is going to work really nice. And these are in the um, eucalyptus or sage, either one. Those are colors that you can use, I think, probably spring, summer, and fall. Okay, so I'm just going to slowly peel it back. That way, if something is, if I missed a spot, I can just lay it back down and chalk over it again. There we go. And I have my handy dandy here. Way. That way I still have a little room 
to buzz my words here. You could even do life in a different color. Hmm. Nope, I think I'm going to stay with the dream sickle. So I'm just doing a nice thick layer over it. And I'm going to go over it a couple of times just to make sure that I don't miss any parts of the letters. And then I'm going to pull off any excess and just put it back in my jar. Take much chalk paste to do most things that we do. Let me get it off of my fingers. There we go. Let's set that one off to the side. Hmm. No. You could, you could do it that way with the greenery in the middle, but I don't think so. I think I'm going to do it this way. So many options. Okay, so I'm just fuzzing up the back because it's brand new. And I want to make sure that it doesn't, when they're brand new, they can, they are so sticky that certain surfaces um, they tend to really stick to. And it can be challenging to get them off, probably with this because it's porous, it would have been okay, but just didn't want to take a chance. I think that's lined up about right. You can just make bubbles. I love these box frames. So cute. They're just fresh and new and trendy and fun. And this is wood, by the way, in case you were wondering, it is not a chalkboard. So again, just going over it to make sure I don't miss anything. Okay, pulled off the excess. I was wondering if it would have been cuter to put it in the middle of each piece so it looks like it's in the middle of the plank. Next time I'll do it that way. We'll see. Keep life simple. I really like the colors.
color with the um, brown frame looks really pretty. Okay, so I'm just going to clean off that squeegee because I'm done with that one. And I have water behind me, so I put my tools in there when I'm done. Okay. Clean that up. Okay. Um. is glossy and that's the side that the pencil's going to be coming off of the bottom one. I'm going to put them away. bubbles in there. All right. I'm going to use a mini on there. minutes to get any of these flies off. Okay, I'm just going to go slowly and make sure there's nothing between the little black squeeze there. Okay, so there. Hi, Tracy. Keep life on our box frame. And I think it turned out really cute. This is going in our living room. I love the colors. They would look great in there. And I think I have the perfect spot on one of our... Um, shelves so i hope you guys like it i think it does look really cute with the lines looking like shiplap i think next time though i would i'd like the way these are centered i think for the words as well instead of it making it just look like a line that they're sitting on i think i would have it up just a little bit so i but i i'm really happy with it i think it looks so cute okay well, that's it for tonight. Um, let me see. I was going to see if there's... Oh, I forgot. The box frames you can the back side of, too. So I'll have to figure out on the back. Um, tomorrow night, once again, I will be doing the lumbar pillow. Um, so it's one of those long pillows, and it'll say gather on it. And I'm going to put that either outside on her or on our in our living room, on our couch. I can't decide, um, but it'll go with the home. Uh, there's no place I'd rather be. So I'm not sure what colors, but it'll be something like, maybe like papaya or a brown. I'm not really sure. So tune in tomorrow night, 7.30. We'll figure it out together. 
and if you have any questions please feel free to comment and um, also if you're interested in information on becoming a VIP member group member which of course is free comment below or post in um, if you have any questions about um, anything club couture about the products about becoming a designer feel free to post that here in the comments or um, you can message me through Facebook or you can email me at thischickschalkin at gmail.com and I will get right back to you. So you guys have a great evening and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow night, 7.30 Pacific time and that's 10.30 East Coast time. You guys have a great night. Bye-bye.